When economies slow down, alternative currencies crash and inflation rises. So what can you do to protect your hard-earned money? I'm Chuck Woolery. Welcome to In Conversation. This week, former directors of the United States Mint and my friends at U.S. Money Reserve, Philip Deal and Ed Moy, discuss gold and how this and other precious metals act as a hedge in times of economic uncertainty. Ed is U.S. Money Reserve's senior IRA analyst. Um, tell me about uh, how you see inflation today and the role of gold in protecting the wealth of, um, of uh, all kinds of people who have assets and are seeing them erode in the face of inflation. Yeah, this is such a relevant question, right? Because uh, just a couple days ago, the new inflation numbers came out from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 9.1%. Mm -hmm. You know, they thought that with the big uh, rate increase that the Fed had mm -hmm. uh, before that, that would start to send the signals uh, to start cooling things down. But instead, uh, it may have cooled things down, so mm -hmm. it may have been a higher number, yes. but still 9.1 is the highest inflation that we've had in over 40 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, what the reason why I think people are concerned is it costs almost 10% more to buy the same stuff that you were buying a year ago. And uh, for people who have retirement, uh, that erodes the, um, uh, the buying power of the money that you have been saving uh, toward retirement. So I think uh, there's been a rush on the non-IRA side to get into gold because gold has been a traditional uh, safe haven asset. And I think that's proven itself over the last couple months where the market is uh, was down to almost bear territory. Mm -hmm. uh, cryptocurrencies, that <laughs> bubble has uh, popped. You know, mm -hmm. So anyone arguing that cryptocurrencies are a store of value, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think they have a little bit of egg on their face mm -hmm. now. Um, uh, and uh, cash is losing almost 10% mm -hmm. of its purchasing power each year. Uh, gold has taken a bit of a hit, uh, yeah, but it's not taken the hit that those other three have, have taken. And at the same time, uh, when you look at gold in the long term, this type of economic uncertainty and volatility plays really well toward gold, and gold performs uh, well uh, over a long period of time, which I think that's uh, one reason why people need to think about diversifying their retirement savings into uh, a precious metal IRA. You know, this, this time uh, right now where gold as of today has decreased in value probably about 7%, mm -hmm. and you compare that against what has happened, you know, all in stock markets and bond markets, yeah. crypto, mm -hmm. uh, and so it's, as you said, it's demonstrating its store of value. But the way I see, uh, and the theory I have about what is happening is that if you look at 2008 and the financial crisis, uh, when values of all kinds of assets were decreasing, mm -hmm. gold fell in sympathy, not as fast like today, but it fell in sympathy. Yeah. And then after a short period of time, it really skyrocketed. Yep. There was a big increase over the course of the next three years, four years. Yep. And well, it set I, the record in 2011. Yes. My last year as Mint Director, it was the uh, uh, historic high at yes. that point until uh, uh, the economic problems caused by COVID caused yes. a new high. But, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And so I think that's, you know, that's what I anticipate. There's all, you know, who knows what will actually happen? But this is, I'm seeing a similar pattern to 2008. Mm -hmm. And we all know that there is tremendous economic, geopolitical uncertainty. And those are the kinds of things that drive, have driven gold in mm -hmm. the past. And so um, that's my expectation. And you know, your the financial advice is always to buy on the dip, uh -huh. and that's uh, where I believe we are. Uh -huh. Yep. So, um, uh, how does you know? We know how gold functions uh, from the uh, financial crisis. Uh, you know, it went down in sympathy and then set a new record, uh, but inflation wasn't in that picture. Yes. So, just given your insights. Uh, 
on the uh, uh, Senate Banking as well as uh, Treasury Department and uh, and then the Mint. Uh, when you add inflation to the equation, uh, what happens to gold? Well, that's with economic uncertainty and certainly high inflation as part of that picture uh, and geopolitical uh, instability. All of those are traditionally related to higher and rising gold prices. Mm -hmm. So I think that's just another factor that is uh, setting the stage for a gold rally. Mm -hmm. But even now, gold is playing its traditional role. Mm -hmm. If you have gold as part of your portfolio, uh, it is holding its value compared to every other asset yep. class. Yeah. And so it is a way of hedging a form of insurance mm -hmm. in your portfolio for your wealth. Yeah, I've had friends uh, during the financial crisis who work for Lehman Brothers, mm -hmm. thinking that their stock would always be worth something, yes. and it ended up being worth zero, yes. right? Yes. Gold will never be uh, ending up worth zero. Well, that's exactly right, and I've always, as you know, I've, I've thought some of the sales points about crypto have been silly, mm -hmm. uh, they have no foundation. And the idea that crypto was a competitor with gold never made any sense. Mm -hmm. Any kind of asset, as volatile as crypto, it's not a store of value. Store of value means there's some level of, of stability yeah. in its price. The other thing is that crypto, how old is crypto? 15 yep. years? Uh, uh, yeah, a little more than 10 years. Yeah. yeah, and gold has maintained value to human societies all over the world for three, 4,000 years. Yeah. There's no comparison. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, and I think with other assets as well, gold has that long tradition of humanity's faith in it mm -hmm. as a form of insurance, not only of their wealth, but their physical and their family's physical well-being. Visit usmoneyreserve.com for more information on precious metals, coins, and precious metal IRAs. America's Gold Authority, U.S. Money Reserve, is proud to be a leading distributor of government-issued gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. For over 20 years, hundreds of thousands of clients have placed their trust in the company to help select the highest quality and most appropriate precious metals for their portfolios. So whether you're a first time buyer or looking to expand your current portfolio, U.S. Money Reserve is committed to bringing you a superior customer experience. I'm Chuck Woolery. Thank you for watching In Conversation.